It's alright, you're safe. I'm not gonna kill you, man. I'm not gonna kill you. Come here, come here. We're having a freshy convention. Oh, he's running away. He's running away. Should I kill him? I can't do it. He's a freshy, man. I can't do it. <laughs> it's not in me. I yeah, just can't. but I got this game. I got this game like a couple months ago, and I yeah. just got back into it too. So. Yeah. Because no, no, no. I got bored because I don't know like how to build a base and all that. Oh, right. Well, um, YouTube, man. YouTube is an amazing tool. Um, but you need to like research specific things like how to build a wall, how to build a door. Um, uh, a guy called Wobo. W-O-B-O. -O. Remember that name? All right. YouTube him. What's, what name? W-O-B-O. -O. Wobo. Yeah, W-O-B-O. -O. Okay. Right, now he is, he is like the Daisy God. He knows everything there is to know about Daisy. So he's got starter guides, he's got uh, how to build bases, all the weapons, he's got everything, yeah? Um, um, as it comes for looting and whatever, I wouldn't say start with Livonia, because you've started with Livonia, and to be honest, this is a hard map. This is a hard map. This is more... I was on the other map. Yeah. Cool. Uh, th this is more PvP intensive map, this one. Chinaris is more about exploring, looting and building bases. This one is spawning, get a gun and kill everyone. Because everything happens along the river. Everything. If you, uh, have you got a, uh, something on your phone called I Survive? For a map. Yeah, yeah I got that got map. Yeah, you got a map. Yeah, that's good. That's like, uh, that's your basic of your basic, but, uh, building a base, I'd say hold off building the base. You just took your top off. You're gonna freeze, man. Alright. You're standing on, you're gonna freeze, well, man. Well, put, put you back on. you get sick track. from having wet clothing. Yeah, I know, you get sick from having wet clothing, but you get dead from having no clothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. I suppose. Mate, you can, walk, you can walk around in the wet as much as you like, right? Being wet doesn't matter, right? You see, uh, you've got your icons in the corner, right? I'm going to give you a 101. Now, you obviously, you've got your food and your water, which is your left, yeah? Your bottle and your apple, yeah? <clears throat> yeah, and mostly the time I die is because of, um... Not having food or water, but right. that's on like uh, official servers. Yeah, right. that, even official, right? I'm gonna give you a 101 fresh spawn in in Daisy. Right, first thing you do whenever you spawn in, you don't loot, you don't do fuck all. You figure out where you are and you get to the nearest well. You fill up on water until your belly hurts. Yeah. Once you've done that, right. then you then you start looking for food. Right. I literally until you filled up with water. There's no point looking for food. None. Because you're just wasting your time, mate. Because if you get to a well and get shot, everything you've done before that is a waste of time. So you get to a well and you fill up with water. That's the number one. That's the first thing you do. Every single life. You fill up with water. And you see what I'm doing now? You always look around. You never know who's watching. You might not have a gun. You might not be able to defend yourself. But trust me, so many people miss. People are not good shots in this game. <laughs> yeah, so, I'm not really good at PvP either. No, neither am I. But no, no, no one is. It's all about getting someone at the right place at the right time. Just like real life. I was on a server and I did have C4 and I blew someone up. But Did you? I haven't blown anyone up yet. That's awesome. I've, I've got people with well, grenades in the past. I've never blown anyone up with C4 though. Yeah, I kind of placed it near the door, and when I heard someone walk up the stairs, I just blew it up, and I killed <laughs> someone, so... Nice! And it was someone's buddy, too. No, that's always good, but... No, no, literally, mate. Now, rule number one. Water, then food, then guns. Get them in that order, yeah? Because there's no point having a gun... And then, if after you're that, it's today. like, build a base. Uh, well, what, what? No, after that, it's open world, mate. It's on you. It depends on what you feel like doing. If you're going to stay on that server for weeks and weeks and weeks, then yeah. First of all, you don't build a base anyway, right? You want to build a, you know, wooden crate. You need 16 nails. 
Is it 16 hours? Yeah, 16 hours and 8 planks. Right? And you combine the two and together. Eight planks? Yeah. And you make a plank by chopping down a tree with an axe to get logs. Right, and then once you've got the logs, you use a saw to make planks, and you get four planks per log. So you want to get 16 planks. Combine them all together with the nails, and you'll get a you'll get a storage crate. You know the wooden crates? You've probably seen them. The wooden crates. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then you that, and then you want to hide that in the tree or something. Hide that anywhere. It doesn't matter. Hide it behind a building. Hide it in a tree. Hide it somewhere where you're going to remember. And then you want to go out looting for code locks and a shovel and uh, nails and other, other sort of building supplies. And you build your stash up. Once you build your stash up, then you can start thinking about building a base. <laughs> but you've got to have a stash first. Because otherwise, if you try and do it all in one go, in one life, it only takes one bullet and you've lost it all. You know what I mean? So you want to do it bit by bit. Bit by bit by bit. And if you don't get a spawn that you like, if it's miles away from where you're where you wanted to build a base from, just kill yourself. Spawn again. Spawn near where you want to live. You know what I mean? Don't don't keep running the map all the time because it's pointless. It's just a waste of time. Just kill yourself until you get the spawn you want and then carry on with your adventure. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got sounds. Yeah. You just, you just got to be logical about it. When it comes to DayZ, right, I know this life seems like everything, but trust me, you'll respawn in a second, and you'll do it all again. Like, and never get attached to the gear you've got. Like, everything I've got right now, right, look, you just can't be afraid to just to just lose it all. You can't be afraid. Because, yeah, it happens. Yeah, like, well, any second now, me or you might get sniped. You just don't know. If you stand still long enough, someone normally gets shot. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm standing still, I'm hoping I get shot. But it's not happening, so... I you won't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> you got yourself a gun yet? Have you got anything? Oh uh, no, my gun just spawned. Uh, you literally just spawned. Uh, uh, have you got any friends on the server? Are you looking for anyone? No, I'm just solo. You're solo? There you go, right, I'll take that, and take that. There's some bullets and a pistol there. Oh, thank you. There's no mag for it, but at least there's something. What's your hunger on? So... Hu I will give you some food. Yeah, but... Oh, actually, yeah, I've got food. Here you go, look. Uh, there's a tin of bacon and some bones. You have to make a knife out of the bones. What, is the, what, do you, what do you use the bones for? Uh, if you put the bones in your hand, you can make a bone knife. And then once you've got a bone knife, you can open the t uh, tin of bacon and then you can eat them. See, it says craft bone knife. Oh. Unlucky. Unlucky, my friend. Rule number one of Daisy. Trust no one.